Friday evening to you. It was another uh, kind of cloudy and gloomy day across the Arkland Mist, even though we were kind of expecting more uh, in the way of sunshine, but those clouds just could not get rid of them today. But they kept a lid on our temperatures. We're seeing 72 right now here in the Twin Cities. So, again, temperature-wise, it was picture perfect, but we really probably wanted to see more the way of sunshine than clouds. Our live storm tracker Doppler radar brought to you by Eorm Young, showing, again, no shower or storm activity developing this afternoon. And uh, we're not expecting to see any of that over at least the next uh, about 24 hours or so, maybe an isolated shower tomorrow. But big stories, those temperatures. Again, another cool day with upper 60s, mainly in southern Arkansas, uh, lower 70s around the I-20 corridor, and then the further south you go, about middle 70s. So some of us saw some sunshine today, but most of us were cloudy. Here's just a quick update on the drought monitor. This was the most updated one. This is very good news. A lot of the drought conditions are starting to ease as we've seen quite a, a bit of rain, especially over the last uh, week or so before that cold front moved through. It put a nice dent in that drought. But we were wanting to see clear skies today, but here's the vi visible satellite. You can see those clouds starting to disappear now that the sun is starting to set. We had high pressure at the surface, which causes sinking air, which is kind of one thing that keeps clouds from forming. We had that going on today. Today. We also have something called Northwest Flow Aloft, which brings in drier air in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So with those two things in combination, we still had clouds, even though we were supposed to really not have cloud cover. So kind of one of those things, Louisiana weather kind of retaliating, keeping those clouds around, but it made for another cool day. And as you can see by this water vapor now, we had that Northwest Flow turning to Southwest Flow, bringing in more moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So again, you can count on those clouds sticking around uh, throughout the day tomorrow. So Future Tracker, again, it was thinking the same thing where we weren't seeing much in the way of cloud cover, but obviously that's not happening. And those clouds you can see creeping back in from the south uh, during the morning for Saturday. And then throughout the day looking pretty dry, although I wouldn't rule out a shower or storm mainly south of I-20 for tomorrow. But again, most of us are going to be dry. And then those clouds creep further northward and uh, the humidity returns as well. So that'll bring in end of the fall like weather and then you can see for Sunday again more clouds some uh, isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms developing during the afternoon and I think Sunday is going to be the best day to see rain but tonight no rain expected beautiful evening for Friday night football or just going out to the fair or doing anything outdoors it'll be in the middle 60s too so you might want to wear a light jacket or a sweater and then tomorrow uh, it's going to be nicer, although it'll still be mostly cloudy. It'll be warmer and a little bit more humid. An isolated shower developing for tomorrow afternoon. And then you can see that summer-like weather sticking around for the weekend and into next week. We uh, dry out for the beginning of next week, too. So uh, it's just going to be looking a little bit like summer, not like fall, as we head into October. So uh, if we want the cooler and drier weather, we're probably going to have to wait until about mid to late October. Okay. Yep. Thank you, sir.